everybody. Welcome back to Palmer Clay by Deb. As you know, I'm Deb and this is Crazy Felix here. And today, rather than do a Palmer Clay tutorial, we thought we would share um, a tip with you. The other day, I was fixing a pair of shoes and my husband asked me what I was doing and I, and I told him and showed him what and he said, wow, that sounds like something you ought to do a video on. So I thought, why not? So anyway, this is something I learned when I was in the ballet. Um, I don't know if you can see this uh, piece of elastic here and here on the shoes. These shoes were way too loose around the top of my foot and they kept flopping around and falling off. So I attached these pieces of elastic here that um, hold them on. <laughs> and this is what we used to do with our costumes and our shoes back when I was in ballet. And uh, if your costume was strapless and it was falling off or you needed to your shoes were loose and you needed to tighten them, we would do this. And I even noticed that um, Dancing with the Stars does it as well. So now I'm going to show you what you need. It's very simple. All you need is some elastic. This is just elastic that I bought at Walmart. Some makeup, liquid makeup, that matches your skin tone. Um, a couple clothespins just to hold it in place. And I'm using Crazy Glue, which I don't think is really ideal. Probably you should use some sort of shoe goo or something like that, but my shoe goo wasn't any good to show you this, so I'm going to use the crazy glue. Um, all right, so let me just show you how it's done. Okay, what you need to do is you need to take your pair of shoes and take the elastic before you cut it and um, just hold it down around the base of the shoe and pull it around so it's tight around the top of your foot and then cut it. And as you can see, I've got two pieces here that I, I've already cut. One, I've already put the makeup on. Now, putting the makeup on is very simple. You just shake it up and you use your finger. And this is just makeup. So, you know, if you get it on your clothes or anything, it's not gonna stain anything. And you just keep rubbing it on like this and you want to keep it stretched because if you don't stretch it out and fill it with makeup then what's going to happen is when it is stretched out on your foot you're going to have some white places showing so you just want to keep putting this all over your shoe or not your shoe but your elastic and you're going to get it on your fingers and hands but that doesn't really matter because it does come off very easily and just continue like that until you have the whole front done and then turn it over and do the whole back very simple My elastic here is the one that I did prior to this and it's already dry. So you want to let them sit out and dry really well before you actually put them on your shoe. And then I'm going to take the super glue and put a little on the end here and then put it inside my shoe and hold it there. I'm going to use a clothespin to kind of hold it in place. And then I'm going to take uh, the other side, put a little super glue on it and attach that and put a clothespin on it and that's all there is to it then you let your i would let it set overnight for the um, glue to get good and dry and then when you put that on that's some added support over the top of your shoes <laughs> and there's the star of the show i tried to get him out of here but he he just wouldn't have it so anyway um, so I hope you find that useful, and next time you're watching Dancing with the Stars, look at the back of their costumes, you'll see that they do this. So, um, until next time, Felix says goodbye, and so do I. See you later. Bye-bye.